Hello, Lana. How do you do? Welcome to Manifested Online Classes. We come to one of the last lessons on the topic by doing further solutions to questions with an obvious objective of sharpening your skills on answering questions on longitude and latitude. There is an example on the board with a practical example of aircrafts. So the, in the lesson, So I reiterate again, we are going in the lesson, we are going to get further solutions to questions whose main objective is to equip the learner with skills of solving questions on longitudes and latitudes. And it doesn't end here. For example, this is a very practical question for the learner who is interested in navigation or being a pilot. So straight to the question, Straight to the question, Lana. Two aircrafts fly at 480 knots from a point X, zero degrees, two degrees west, to Y, 30 degrees north and 28 degrees east. One flies along the equator, then due north along meridian, 28 degrees east. The other flies due north and then due east along parallel of latitude 30 degrees north. If the aircrafts leave X at the same time, if the aircrafts leave X at the same time, find the difference in their arrival time at Y. At y. So, Lana, I told you to get a good picture of the question, you move around it with a sketch of those positions. So, in example N, we get the solution. When you have that diagram, it gives the true picture of the positions you are interested in. So as usual, we start with the globe. Then one of the lines you get interested in is the equator. So you can get a sketch of that. So Lana, you know that is the equator. Another line you might get interested in is the Greenwich Prime Meridian. That is the prime meridian. Then, this is the equator. So you go to the question. Two aircrafts fly from zero degrees eh, two degrees west. So it is on the equator. You locate the point Y. So if this is the center, two degrees west, sorry, will be on the other side. two degrees. Eh? So you know this is point, you already know that is point X. So there is a latitude mentioned there, 30 degrees north. So you can come and draw it. This is latitude, 30 degrees north. 30 degrees north. So you start with what you are given. One flies along the equator. One flies along the equator. So you'll, you'll 
you can write there plane one along the equator, then along meridian 28 degrees. So there is, it comes up to here. And you'll know that angle to the east will be 28 degrees. Then it flies north. It flies north. Eh? So you'll know the destination is Y. That is what? Y. So that is plane one. You see how it has moved. That is plane one. Plane two. The other flies due north. Of course, it will be here. That will be plane two. Root of plane two. So plane one moves due east, then due north along meridian. 28 degrees. So this is meridian. 28 degrees. So there is something given. The speed of the speed of the plants is 480 knots. 480 knots is 480 nautical miles per hour. Nautical miles per hour. So you'll get to what you wanted, time taken. Time taken by plane one. Plane one. One will be its distance over speed. Distance divided by speed. So you see how plane one moves. This is two degrees, that is 28 degrees. So there is a change in longitude of 30 degrees. There is a change in longitude of 30 degrees. So distance moved is equal to distance moved along the equator. along the equator plus distance moved along meridian so lana this is meridian 28 degrees so you'll come here Distance moved along the equator will be changed in longitude. Eh? Will be longitude difference. Because it is a great circle, it will just be longitude difference times 60 nautical miles. Because one degree subtends an arc of 60 nautical miles. That is what you should know, one degree on a great circle will subtend 60 nautical miles. So if we have two degrees, eh, it will be two times 60 plus distance moved along meridian, 28 degrees will be latitude difference. Eh? times 60 nautical miles. You find this one is along a great circle. That one is along a great circle because all meridians are great circles. So this distance is along the equator. So you'll come here. The longitude difference is 2 degrees plus 28 degrees. So to move to the prime meridian is 2. To move to the east, we have 28. So difference in longitude longitude this will help you we have 2 degrees 
and here we have 28 degrees. This is to the east, and that is to the west. So this is this angle, and that is that angle. So it is 2 degrees plus 28 degrees, which gives you 30 degrees. 30 degrees. So longitude difference here will be 30 degrees times 60 nautical miles. That distance. It is along a great circle. The latitude difference is 30 degrees. Latitude difference is 30 degrees. To move from here to that latitude difference is 30 degrees. So it's 30 degrees eh? times 60 nautical miles. The distance taken, taken by plane A are all along great circles. So we'll come and get 1,800 nautical miles. Eh? plus 1,800 nautical miles. This gives us 3,600 nautical miles. 3,600 nautical miles. So you'll come to the time taken by plane 1 will be distance over speed. Speed, which gives us 3,600 nautical miles eh? over for when they give you 480 knots, it is the same as 480 nautical miles per hour. 480 nautical miles eh? per hour. So you start cancelling 0, 0. 12 goes there, 4. 12 goes there, 4. 12 goes there, 12 goes there, 4. 12 goes there, 30. So it is 30 over 4, which gives us 7.5 hours, 7.5 hours. That is plan 1. We have to also to get for plan 2 before we get the difference. So we'll come for plan 2. Time taken by plan 2. will be equal to its distance over speed learner. So you have to know how the plane moved. Plane 2. It went north, then it went east. It went north along this meridian, isn't it? So you'll come and say distance will be equal to distance along meridian 2 degrees eh? plus distance distance along distance along latitude 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 30 degrees north so you have to be very careful when you move along a meridian that meridian you realize here from zero to that isn't it so distance along meridian 2 degrees will be given by change in latitude times 60 nautical miles. It is this change in latitude from 0 to 30 degrees north. Plus, distance moved along latitude 30 degrees. 
This is a small circle. Small circle. Even though you'll multiply by the degrees, but you'll multiply by cosine 30. Cosine 30. So you'll come and have distance along latitude 30 degrees because it moves this way. It moves the, that way. So you'll come and say it will be the change in longitude. Eh? You see the, here there is a change in longitude to get that distance. There is that angle there. Change in longitude. Change in longitude. Eh? times 60 nautical miles times cosine 30 degrees. We are multiplying by cosine 30 degrees because it is a small circle. The ratio of the red eye of considering a great circle and a small circle, there is that relationship. If you know one of them is R, the other one is R cosine, R cosine the latitude. So it affects the radius and it also affects the circumference of the two circles. The ratios of the circumference is one to cosine that latitude. So you have to multiply by cosine 30 because it is on a small circle. When we come here in change of latitude, eh, it is actually from zero to 30. So it is 30 degrees times 60 nautical miles plus change in longitude. Eh? The change in longitude here, it is 2 plus 28. Eh? That gives us 30 degrees times 60 nautical miles times cosine 30 degrees. So before I even calculate, eh, you notice one, there is a plane there that moved on two great circles, but this one moves on a great circle and then on a small circle. That gives the difference in the computations there. So here I get 1,800 nautical miles plus 1,800 eh? uh, nautical miles times cosine 30 degrees. That will give me 1,800 nautical miles eh? plus uh, 1,800 times cosine 30. You'll move to your calculator. Move to your calculator. 1,800 times cosine 30. Fifteen fifty eight point eight four. Fifteen fifty eight point eight four nautical miles. So when I add to eighteen hundred, eighteen hundred, give me thirty three fifty eight point eight four. So you realize uh, there is one that has moved a shorter distance. So time taken, time taken will be distance over speed. So I'll come and take my 33, 58.84, divide by the speed, which is nautical miles, uh, divide by 480 nautical miles. So I'll get my hours. Come and compute my hours divide by 3358.84 divide by 480. Learn it gives us 6.99 hours. 6.99 Hours. So, learner, you can easily see which one took a lot of time. It is the first one because it moved a longer distance. It moved a longer 
distance. So I've not finished my the answer to the question. I've not finished the answer to the question. I've not finished. So the difference in time, they asked, find the difference in time in arrival time at Y. So a difference in ta arrival time in arrival time will be equal to 7.5 hours subtract 6.9 nine hours that gives you lana the calculators 7.5 subtract 6.99 so it gives us 0 0.51 hours 0 0.51 hours that was the difference in the arrival time. So just a recap of the solution. We plotted a diagram, plotted x. Zero degrees, it is on the equator, and two degrees west of the prime meridian. After that, we plotted y. Because we are told this plane moves east, then due north along this meridian. Another thing that captures us, the first plane moves along a great circle and then another great circle. The second plane moves along a great circle, then a small circle. That is evident in the calculations we get for the second plane. So that comes up and gives us 0 0.51 hours. So Lana, with that uh, computation, you'll get one sum here which you'll go to as you wind up uh, working solutions for that topic, longitudes and latitudes. So I'll jot down that assignment. So, Lana, that is the question in the assignment. Much or less similar to what we are doing. A is 18 degrees north and 2 degrees west. Those are the coordinates for A. B is 18 degrees north and 16 degrees east. And C, 48 degrees north is due north of B. When they say it is due north of B, they actually share the same longitude. They share the same longitude. They would share the same longitude there. So D is due north of A and also due west of C. When they say due west of C, they will share the same latitude with C. So draw a diagram to show the relative positions of A, B, C, D, and write down the coordinates of C and D. Two aircrafts, P and Q, leave A at the same time and fly to C and fly to C. P flies to C along route A, D, C, which you'll get from the diagram, while Q flies to C along route A, B, C.
you'll get from the diagram. If both aircrafts land at sea at the same time, land at sea at the same time, find the ratio of their speeds, find the ratio of their speeds in terms of n is to one, giving n correct to two decimal places. So that will give you a comprehensive uh, uh, experience on questions on longitude and latitude. So thank you very much for your audience throughout the lessons uh, undertaken on the topic longitudes and latitude. So enjoy yourself as you go through that assignment and bye-bye. Thank <music> you.